happy Saturday. Woo, almost the end of another week. So yesterday I posted a video of an unboxing of the Sapphire RX 9070 XT Nitro Plus, not on this channel. And I had the audacity to call into question the use of a 16 pin connector on an AMD card. I just said, and, and the way the Sapphire card is designed too, it's not like massively confidence inducing to me because it's unique. They've got this like mid card connector on the back of the card with a cover that goes over it. And then the, the cables route down and out the bottom of the card. And they've got a three eight pin to single 16 pin adapter cable included. Like you would see with Nvidia's like 4080, 5080 cards. But it's not an Nvidia adapter, obviously. Might be made by the same company, but it doesn't say Nvidia on it. It's got a blue connector just to be Sapphire, I guess. And I just said, you know, why would you do this? And part of it is I also said, you know, this is a 304 watt GPU normally. I've done testing of a 9070 XT and they don't use tons of power. They use more than 300 watts. Spikes up to maybe 340. But is a factory overclock really worth going to a 16 pin connector, having that weird routing out the bottom and back of the card, all these other changes. And I just basically questioned it and I'm like, I don't really feel like it was necessary. I've become more interested in more efficient cards as I get along in my years. I don't need things overclocked to the red line because I've had too much instability with those in the past. Factory overclocked cards that wouldn't run stable. So give me something clocked 50 megahertz lower that doesn't ever crash and I would be happier. That extra 2% in performance, it's not worth the other potential hassle. It's not worth drawing 50 watts more power. That's my take. I know, kind of an old man attitude rather than a hardcore and PC enthusiast and overclocker. Look, I overclocked a three seller on 300 a to 512 megahertz back in the day. That was an overclock on air. Overclocking from 2970 boost clock to 3050 boost clock, 120 megahertz more than 2970, that's nothing. That's my take. Have a good one. Take care.